And thanks for coming amongst the very busy schedule of the nomination filings uh, and taking time out of it. As you all know that today we are uh, taking a nationwide protest on the uh, favoritism done by the government of India towards Adani uh, on LIC and SBI investments in the companies. So uh, what we need to say is that the agenda of the BJP is the ethnic cleansing of the poor and the minorities. And Adani for BJP is what East India Company was for the British. That's exactly what the country is facing right now. On the 24th of Jan, there was a report from the US research company, an investigative research report on a short-selling US company, Hindenburg, calling out the fraud in Adani company. Their assets witnessed an 819% growth in the last seven years' time, or maybe in the last three years' time. The wealth of Gautam Adani from a mere $20 billion went up to $100 billion. <coughs> in short, it is $100 billion is 8 lakh 20,000 crores. And suddenly, in a week's span of time after the research report coming out, it became very clear that you know, almost $110 billion was lost out from the market. So we are raising a few questions because LIC and SBI are stakeholders in that one. Now, the major concerns in the report which was told is uh, we should know that you know, there was an accounting scam. It's an accounting fraud. So you make duplicate entries. There are entries of investments coming from abroad, which is not witnessed, uh, which is not disclosed as per the disclosure norms of SEBI and as well as other, other companies. So there are seven companies of Adani's which were in major issue and the value erosion was very high in that one. There were undisclosed overseas investments coming from Vinod Adani, uh, who is Gautam Adani's elder brother. And those companies are completely unknown from there. The share markets were manipulated and then the support for the share markets uh, was used to pledge his shares for loans raised against that one. So these are the ways in which they did all these uh, unscrupulous investments in the Indian uh, share market and as well as we know with the financial institutions. So that's where we are coming out, coming out and calling out the fraud in this one. So we know why we are concerned is because LIC and SBI are state-owned companies to a large extent. And when LIC and SBI have an investment exposure, it looks like similar to the Wall Street's uh, famous story of Enron, which was also an energy conglomerate, which kind of collapsed after it was identified and called out of the fraud of stock manipulation. So we are looking at a similar incident where we have a warning. We also have had similar occasions where the Satyam fraud was called out, the ILNFS, a similar infrastructure company like that of Adani, was called out. And at that point of time, when ILNFS was called out in 2018, the government immediately fired the senior management of ILNFS, took over the company, put the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India to take over the company and investigate the accounting scam. The scam of Adani is also an accounting scam but this government has not yet moved on anything till now. So we are concerned on those factors because 52,000 crores is the LIC uh, investment as on today said by the LIC's chairman. There's a 32,000 crores of fall in the value of the shares of LIC. 27,000 crores is the exposure of SBI. What if a collapse happens to Adani, just like how Enron collapsed? So these are the questions which we want to raise it to the public. And then why we call Adani, uh, in, or why we liken Adani to that of the East India Company is because Adani holds the major largest player in India for ports, the major largest player in India for airports, the major largest player in India for electricity, major largest player in India consolidated player for ground logistics of food distribution and other logistics, major largest player in coming of coal handling, so that's how East India Company worked in India. And, the, and they were supported by the British. And Adani is also making entry into defense. So are we mortgaged to Adani completely is our question. So these are the things you know, where we want to kind of you know, bring it out to the public that 30, lakh, uh, 30, 30 crore shareholders of LIC is under stress. And what about the 10 lakh crores of 
value erosion in the stock market in the last 10 days time why is adani not taking a legal action even after so much of value erosion happening on their stocks after so many days why is there no evident tangible legal action against hindenburg in the us just making you know some uh, verbal attacks and threats on hindenburg there is no visible action from adani on that one and why the government is so silent on this uh, we also want to call out the bjp's uh, uh, double standards with respect to how they handle the poor and the minorities